Hello, hi angels. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali Sylvia. For those who are new here, Karibu Sana. Today we have a special guest. Hey guys. <laughs> this is fashionable stepmom. Everybody knows her. And I if you don't <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. if you don't know fashionable stepmom, please head to um YouTube channel Fashionable Stepmom. Subscribe and uh, watch her videos. Today we are discussing about uh, dining table etiquette. It's a continuation of the video we did on her, um, on her channel. Go there, watch that video as well, so that at least you can see what we discussed earlier on. So yeah, today that's the same discussion we are continuing with. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching. I'm excited. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh -huh. So... Last time, Kathy, we talked about uh, basic uh, dining table etiquette. Uh -huh. We talked about so many things from the napkin to uh -huh. how to hold the cutlery uh -huh. to hosting. And we left a few things out. So uh -huh. uh, today we can talk about the glasses yes. on the table uh -huh. and how they're supposed to be used. Uh -huh. So maybe you can tell us what the bigger glass it's for the smaller one and I'll all try. That. I don't know if I'll get it right. So Alice will correct me. Uh, so guys were asking about the glasses. I think this is the water glass. And this is the red wine glass. And this is a white wine glass. We don't have a champagne glass, but it's usually there. And yeah, there are many varieties of red and white, but that's I think what is on this table. What do you think? Yeah, basically that is it. Mm -hmm. For for the difference between the white wine glass and the red wine glass is that um, this white wine glass is slender and tall and not as tall, but it's slender com compared to mm -hmm. a red wine glass, which is a bit um, the ball. I think this is the ball is a bit big. It can be short or just tall the way it is. So basically that is the difference between a white a white uh, wine glass and a red wine glass. And when you are holding your glass, when you are served with maybe white wine, you are supposed to hold your glass by the stem. Because um, if you hold it like this, then you will be warming your glass and you know, white wine is best served chilled. It, it's, it's always best uh, chilled. Eh? So if you hold it like this, you'll even be interfering with the temperature of the wine and it might not taste the same. So it's best to hold your glass at the at the stem, right? Mm -hmm. At the stem, yeah, at the stem. Yes, mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. the stem. And mm -hmm. I think champagne, basically you, you hold your glasses all that way, right? Yeah, like this. I know before, um, I went for wine tasting and stuff like that. I used to hold my glass like this. I used to hold, others hold it like this. <laughs> Actually, you make so many mistakes when it comes to holding glasses, the wine glass. Yeah. Even myself, I find myself <laughs> doing like that. You know, sometimes, um, which is, I think is a good thing. We'll do one day a wine pairing and maybe we'll have a um, wine connoisseur we'll have to, to come and maybe show us how to take wine and pair them with different foods. But what Alice is saying is true. Try your best to hold it here, not to interfere the temperature of your drink. Wow, yeah, that is it. And for water, if it's this size of a glass, you hold it from down mm -hmm. the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for water glass, you hold it like this, not like this. Mm -hmm. And even when your glass has all the fingerprints and mm -hmm. all that, it's not very classy, oh. it's not posed. So mm -hmm. you hold it from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I've learned something about this. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So that is it basically for the glasses. glasses. Yeah, there is champagne glass which we don't have today. But as we go along, we will do more of this. So we'll show you champagne glasses. And also, I think Alice has done a video on table setting in her, on her channel. Please, she'll link it. Go and watch it. And let me know what you think. So there was another question also asked about the dessert spoon and the soup spoon. Um, most of you wanted to know the difference between the two. And uh, the dessert spoon is a bit smaller, uh, slightly bigger than the teaspoon, mm. and it's usually placed on top of the plate. I should have illustrated that, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get a picture to insert for it, you to, to get the picture. To get the picture, mm. yes. And the, the 
soup spoon is usually a bit big bigger compared to the dessert spoon it's a little bit wider and a little bit deep mm. so that it's you are able to scoop the soup the soup yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so anyway basically that is it about the, the the concerns you had on our other video so today we will also tell you more about what you should do especially when you're in a public establishment if you go out for dining uh, the things you should you should avoid doing we are not mm -hmm. saying they are bad because basically no one is perfect with this dining and I think because they are not written rules on how to mm -mm. do this thing mm -mm. Mm -mm. and it's not even a must for someone to know how to dine perfectly mm. it's just uh, for the good of the, f the viewers to just learn mm -hmm. and practice if they feel yeah they feel if something you're interested in um like we said in the last video etiquette and manners is just good for yourself and for everyone around you to make everyone comfortable and yourself comfortable but like she said it's not a must you don't have to be perfect we still learn even now today i've learned something yeah there are no written rules mm. about how to go about it last time we mentioned that you should not have your phone on the table and I just wanted to say that in case you're in a restaurant and your phone rings or you're expecting an emergency call, maybe you have someone sick uh, or maybe you have a, an, a, a small baby at home and maybe you're expecting a call, you can always put your phone on your lap and cover it with your napkin. Mm. And in case you receive a call, mm -hmm. please don't receive the call on the table. And when you're talking, don't receive your call and walk along. In the restaurant, don't walk while you're still on your phone because you're interrupting the other people who are sitting in the next table. They're having their discussions and you're just trying to draw attention towards yourself because you know when you're on phone and you're maybe shouting and you're walking, everybody will stop whatever they're doing to just maybe look, to you, look at you or listen to what you're saying. So avoid that pick your phone, go to the restroom or maybe to the lobby area and receive your calls from that area without distracting other people. What do you think, Kathy? I think that's a very good point and I think I'll also adhere to that. Sometimes you tend to forget where you are yeah. and from the table, uh, hello? Then you talk as you're going. I think it's a very good point and I'll also try to practice it. I never thought about it that way. I guess for me, I'm quite sure I should pick it up because I don't want people to hear what I'm saying. But it's a very good point because the other diners and you don't want to interrupt them. Yeah, That's sure. a good point. And I think they also asked another question is, um, could you kindly, which I wasn't able to answer well on my comments, hand foods. What are the hand foods? Because not everything will use a fork and knife. Oh yeah, by the way, there are, there are those foods you will definitely need your hands, like uh, bread, I think today we'll have bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So um, when you're eating your bread, when you're, that is your starter, right? Mm -hmm. When you're having your starter, you don't use your knife to break that bread, you use mm -hmm. your hands. You break the bread, then you pick the knife, you apply the butter. Mm -hmm. There are so many meals that you're, not, you, you're actually supposed to, to use your hands, burger, Pizza, um, chicken wings, scones for tea, um, finger sandwiches, um, tarts, the small little tarts for four o'clock tea. So there are many um, finger foods and I think we can attach on the video on the side, we'll do some research and show you. But not every, like, can you imagine eating chicken wings with a fork? With a fork? Like? It's a struggle. <laughs> a struggle. <laughs> like, I think it's already this small. Yeah. Yeah. And but I think the main chicken, you should use a fork and a knife. No, main chicken, the breast, the drumstick, those ones you use the, the, okay. uh, the fork, the knife, but the, the wings, Mm. You you use your fingers. So the drumstick, you don't hold the drumstick like this. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> like the KFC one. No, no. You only do that at home. <laughs> okay. That's when you're allowed to use the, the cutlery. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think it's a... I don't know how it would come out if you're in a maybe pizza joint and you're there with a fork and knife and I know. trying to eat pizza. It's a bit too much. Yeah? Like, think about uh, being at Galitos or... Um, Dominoes and you're there fork and knife with a pizza. Like, yeah, it's, it's a <laughs> very relaxed setting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's, there are some foods which. Are they, what do I like foods? 
Yeah, there are foods. Yeah, there are foods like yeah, <laughs> foods is a word. <laughs> yeah, so there are foods which you'll just be excused to mm. use your to use your fingers. Actually, they are called um, finger mm. foods. Yeah, yeah they are mm. called finger foods. So mm. you'll be excused for that. That's that's fine. Mm. Mm. I avoid eating burgers and stuff like that. <laughs> Especially when in a <laughs> public place, yes, you prefer yes. to eat the burgers maybe in Actually, the house. Oh, yes, 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 and yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. So, in a situation, or in case you're having the finger foods, you can always use your napkin. You just slightly wipe your fingers like this. If you're not comfortable with that, you can ask for water to be offered to you to wash your hands. In most cases, they will give you a bowl with warm water, lemon, you will just wash and when you offered that bowl, don't put your both hands and don't put the whole hand inside. Yeah. You just wash, wash your fingertips, yeah? Mm, yeah, true. you just wash mm. your fingertips. Mm. In other restaurants, they will offer you wet wipes. Mm-hmm. You can also use that. Mm. But in case you, you have OCD, mm. as Kathy has said, <laughs> yeah. and you feel you need a thorough cleaning, you can excuse yourself, go to the restroom, wash your hands with soap, wipe, come back and enjoy your meal. Mm-hmm. I think uh, you should not just dig in because it's a finger food without considering the hygiene and cleaning your hands. Mm-hmm. After that, the mess. Exactly. And that's what someone asked, um, when in, a, in a public place like you've mentioned, what would you um, recommend when it comes to... Um, asking for service we all know that sometimes some restaurant someone serves and then they disappear so should they be like ksks, ksks. nani ksks. <laughs> you know like <laughs> maybe is, tell us how we should do it yeah, i think we missed is, that on the video last time that is true uh-huh. uh, that is um in every aspect it's not polite to ksks someone <laughs> mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. so the best thing is to Kathy had mentioned earlier on you know someone's name and it's very powerful to call someone by their name mm. and you realize they respond very quickly because mm. at least they know you're addressing them mm. and they will not assist they will come straight straight away the other way is um, if your waiter is not far from your table mm. you just keep an eye contact mm. look at them if you're seated upright and you're looking at the waiter mm. that is already a communication it is signals i need to talk to you mm. he or she will come mm. direct to your table mm. if they're busy or there is no one within your vicinity um i've noticed it's a thing you're right um when you go to restaurants sometimes you're still in a place where it's easier for you to see the waiters working in yeah. so you see other diners are struggling to call the waiters and you don't want to help. So I always say it's very, very polite and I do it a lot in restaurants and people are very grateful. If you're seeing another diner struggling to call the waiter, kindly just for them say, excuse me, because they're passing you a lot yeah. because they're the one there near the exit or wherever they are. You'd be like, excuse me, the next table kindly needs your service. Yeah. And that other diner appreciates. Actually, so that's so good. I it's feel kind. Um, it's kind. Don't just sit there, you're being served. Maybe you're at the lucky table, you're being served all the time. And others are struggling over there and you're just like, <laughs> you know, that is yeah, true by the yeah, way and it's yeah. just kind to note it and let the waiter know because maybe they've not even noticed mm-hmm. yeah on the same mm-hmm. if your waiter is around where you can see them don't put your hand up like this <laughs> like hey you come don't don't put your hand like this chat, 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 chat. yes <laughs> if you have to put your hand up let it be at um your elbows mm. Yeah, just here and just like this, the waiter will know what you're communicating and they will come. You don't have to lift it up and all that. Yeah, mm, so nice. I think those are the ways you can communicate to your waiter. Mm-hmm. Or your waitress. Or your waitress. Yeah, yeah it's just polite to use those, those methods other than being not so polite. Yes. <laughs> um, another thing which I think we didn't be in a public establishment, and I feel it's important, it's not a must, it's tipping. Let's talk about tipping. And um, my experience, I always like tipping, especially if I've received good service. Um, what's your experience? I know we have a percentage. 
Yeah. Especially in the US, they are very strict on the percentage. Um, it's usually 10% of your meal. Yeah. So let's say you spend 10,000, it's polite to give 1,000. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's embarrassing. You spend 100 and then you give the waiter 200. <laughs> <laughs> so tipping is not um, in our culture, mm -hmm. actually. But you find, depending on where we are dining, mm. we tend to tip. Mm. But mostly, like in our country, I think it's mostly dictated by how you feel that person has served you. Sometimes if you feel you've got a bad service, utasikia mtu akisema hata ame serve vibaya sitampea tip. You know that alone. Mhm. Ana kama uko umetoka like I need to tip. if if maybe something has happened that maybe you didn't like utasikia mtu amesema hapana hata sitampea tip aje nifanyie vizuri amefanya amefanya. But in most cases you find people tip and it's a good way to appreciate the person's effort the service if, if it was good mm. and you know they keep on smiling from morning to evening just trying to give you all the best it's good to make to leave another person better than mm. you found them i think yeah. i also agree yeah i also agree on that tipping is a very good it's a good thing mm. yeah it's a way of appreciation mm. yes trying to remember what else guys asked oh another question was um this thing when you go to restaurant i don't know we we have this thing of you have to take food home, doggy bags, and always carrying doggy bags even things are not like really important. For example, you've been given a steak and fries and spinach. If you're not packing half the steak, really, you cannot pack one mouthful of food. You know, <laughs> like a <laughs> to the maximum. I know. You know, like you can't be nipake or chips. No, I was thinking like, like, no, my colleagues in my back like three, four eh, pieces. Eh, what do you think about that? I think if you are dining, mm. you are already set to eat. Mm. So your your stomach is not full; mm. it's empty. You are expecting you are going to eat. Mm. So there is no way you are going to be served food, and all of a sudden it's too much than you can eat. Mm. Mm. Try as much as possible to just eat what's on the table. Mm. Then, if you want something to take away, maybe you left someone home or maybe a child mm. order something different mm. pack this one for my child mm. pack this one i take mm. home for my baby mm. but eating and halfway plate and you want it to be packed i don't find it very mm. yeah it's, it's not, not polite, not polite. Yeah. and i also feel like sometimes um they're using all these papers it's not good for the environment and me and you know at least we've all been guilty yeah you pack something halafa utakula utaikula utatupa kwa kwa fridge or even you forget it you don't refrigerate it mm. after a day mm. Mm. you know mm. <laughs> but mm. i would advocate for someone to just eat their food mm. eat finish your food mm. if you need to pack order a fresh it's true yeah it's true okay. but again there is another bad manners mm -hmm. <laughs> It's good, it's coming. I don't know if I should discuss that no, at this table or it's... <laughs> like we said, we, have, we are all guilty of this thing. It's not like we haven't done that. Right? Mm -hmm. When you're taken out for a date, in mm -hmm. this case, when it's a guy taking a lady out mm -hmm. for a date, hey, I think it, it doesn't come out so well mm -hmm. when you're eating and you want to park and... I don't find it so polite. I find it yeah, too much. <laughs> it's a kwa lunch and you're kesho kwa ofisi. I know. The guy was just offering you dinner. He didn't offer you lunch for tomorrow. I know. <laughs> yeah. Turn it down. Okay? You can tell that to your friend, you know, um, let's say um, you've ordered something, it didn't come out the way you wanted. Um, or oh, you, you know, you can with your friend, you can be like, ah, this will be lunch. And the thing is, you can only pack if you've only needed two spoons. And you know the waiter or the waitress will even be like, hey, mama uja kula, kuna kitumba na chakula. I know. But with a, I, with a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in our, um, mm. where we live, there is a, a very high tendency of ladies wanting to pack food that has been bought on dates. I think it's not cool, it's not good manners. Just mm. eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your food uh, and pray that there is going to be a, a date next, next time. time and you're going to have another nice meal next yeah. time. <laughs> that's a good point to note. That's a good point. I had a notice that that's a good point to note. Yeah, mm. so another thing that we should um, actually look out uh, when we are dining maybe in a restaurant is bad mouthing the staff. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm in shock even. Yes. Or just being negative. I think I've used a very strong word, mm -hmm. but just being negative, coming out as a very 
negative person and not being respectful to people and mm. the kind of jobs they do you know someone does something slightly you feel you're offended mm. and instead of taking it in the right way right manner is to just call the person and tell them you know umenipatia glass imevunjika ama ni chafu ama ni chafu you're there shouting like it's not a glass mnauza mnapenda hapa nimenipa 2000 you know mm, it's true and the people are like that yeah they are and i also feel like at the end of the day um everyone is here to look for a living and we also have bad days even in our own job yes so it's good to be human it's good to why can't you be the person who walks in make and makes a difference and be polite exactly it doesn't cost anything yeah and i also feel um they respect you more. true yeah and you come out a stronger person if you just find a better way of addressing issues mm. other than shouting at the staff serving you mm. it's just good and polite to just talk to them explain to them glass yangu imevunjika nibadilishie maybe they not even noticed mm. maybe they're not even the ones who Washed it. Yes, yeah, so mm. washed it. Mm. By the way, there are so many and you don't even know what the other person is also going through. They're also so, human. Yeah, it's kind to just be kind to to the staff, people serving you. Don't rough, don't go roughing. Don't rough people. Don't it's rough true. people. Yeah. Mm. Don't rough and people up all the time. Yeah. And I always feel like fine, money is good, but value people first because um you know, money can't cook that food. Money can't serve you. You know, you can't place money on the table there and money serves you food. True. So as much as money is good it's good for us to be good human beings. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think about uh bad food? Maybe you've ordered something mm-hmm. you love so and it doesn't come it the way you expected. It depends on your personality. <laughs> I'm the kind of person who feels very bad breaking someone's heart. Yeah. So I'll try to eat their food. If they're kind enough to notice, yeah. yeah, or maybe I'm with my partner or a friend, they will not know me. They'll be like, "Kathy, was the food?" And when they come and I say the food wasn't really good, yeah. Most of the time when I say it nicely, they last me want to try something else. True. I'll try something else. If the second thing was at nice, imagine I won't mention it again. It happened to me on Saturday, I went to a restaurant, I was having breakfast with a friend. This past last Saturday, the first meal was disappointing second. Imagine I didn't want to break the waiter's heart. I just felt today was not my day. And I, way, yeah. and I said, you know what? I'll go home and eat ugali and my eye, yeah. you know, maybe also my palate that day. You know, maybe I was going through my abs cramping, I don't have appetite. So yeah, that's what how I would handle it. I think that is actually the right way of handling it. Mm. In case I'm hosting you at my house mm. and I serve you food and you feel it's not good. Mm or maybe it's bitter or doesn't test to your liking the, poli- the 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 best way to handle the issue is stop eating mm. don't start shouting to the whole table maybe it's a table mm. of four six hii chakula ni mbaya hii chakula inaoja it's testing bad please don't don't do that mm. just be polite you stop eating if i'm the host i will notice kathi mbona ukuni then is the food okay mm. then then you can speak up Mm. you understand but don't maybe whatever i ordered is not good mm. or maybe whatever the other person ordered did not come out as expected but maybe the other people on that table are enjoying their meal mm. maybe it came out perfect mm. and these are normal mistakes so maybe the host will consider to change the food or to replace it mm. rather restaurants also replace even restaurants yeah by the way they mm. do replace but then again if it's in a restaurant how about you eat and halfway that's when you're calling the waiter or the uh-uh. waitress to uh-uh. tell them school at chakula three quarter way afu mwambie chakula ni mbaya ama iko danyele ama iko Uh, so guys like i mentioned let's say like ali said you don't like your food and sure that you don't eat the food half or three quarter away and then you say me open chakula you should notify the waiter or the waitress in advance so that at least they can see okay clearly because they also so are incurring costs every time they are changing a meal another thing you might find a hair or something in your food if it's one hair guys even i have a big even i have so i usually do i remove the hair I can put it in a white glass where they can sit, eat my food. When the waiter is coming to collect the plate, you might be, "Excuse me, there was this here on my food. Can they show the chef?" True. And they respond very well. You find the chef will offer um a dessert, say sorry, offer a drink. Um don't don't overreact. As much as the restaurant still has it to be perfect. Even in your house you can find here 
So as long as the mistake is not so big, I don't see the point of causing drama. Don't be so petty, mm, fussy. Mm. It's not even classy to mm. be all that. Yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Oh, we're talking about splitting the bill. Alice, what oh, do you think about yes. the bill when you go to restaurants? Okay, what I think, eh? mm -hmm. if um, Kathy has called me and she has told me, Today we are hanging out, maybe we are going, where do you like going most? Mm, maybe we are going to share Sonia. <laughs> Whatever that name is. Yeah, share Sonia is a place on the body road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will first ask um, how much do we expect to spend? How mm. much is dinner per head? Mm -hmm. Maybe dinner is four, five, everything. If I'm comfortable with that, I'm good. Fine, mm -hmm. I'll confirm, we'll go. Mm. If that day I don't have money, mm. or if I'm, I can't afford at that moment, mm. it is just good to tell her, my dear, today I can only afford to spend 2000 on mm. dinner, mm. and is it okay we change the location? Maybe we can go to ABC place mm. where dinner is maybe 2000 mm. I'll be okay. Then she will be at liberty to confirm to me, fine, let's change location, or don't mind, I will take care of the 2-5 on top. That, that is okay. Mm. But it is bad manners to just carry yourself without money in your purse, mm. go for <laughs> dates, and you don't know how your bills are going to, to be, be paid. paid. Yeah. Don't be those friends who when bills come, yeah, first of all, uh, you're the loudest at the table complaining every small thing, we've accommodated you. When the bill has come, you're not seeing the handbag. Umepoteza cut. Transaction to our account, back up our simwa internet go down. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, like she said, you see, um, we've reached an age in our lives where we be, can be very honest. Sometimes you've committed your money somewhere you don't have at that moment. I'm able to be honestly tell my friends, Leo, even your cuckoo, and they cover me. So if she covers me for today, next time when we go out, it's in my mind. Yeah. I will cover her, True. and I will say today it's on me. Don't be the friend who is always treated, or that person, or the sister, or the this partner who's always treated, it means there's no one who has too much to give or too little to receive. And I feel sometimes it's also taking advantage because mm. you know my friend is so and so and mm. she's like her BC mm. and you want to take advantage. It's just bad manners. It's, mm. it's bad manners in every aspect always expect to pay the bill. Mm. Sometimes it's even better we meet on the table, mm. we dine, then when the bill comes, yeah, like when I'm mm -hmm. maybe removing my contribution, then she can tell me, Alice, stop. Today I'm taking care of That's it. That's what you do. You understand? Yeah. yeah. That's so what that you is do. the best way. But mm. always know you have a liability of paying your bills when you go out. Mm. Always. Mm. But then there is also another issue. Mm -hmm. We can go dining mm -hmm. and I'm taking champagne, maybe a bottle is 18,000. Mm -hmm. And I've eaten maybe my dinner was 5,000. Mm. My bill comes to 25,000. Mm -hmm. And here you've only spent 5,000. What happens? So for me, if it's my close friends, I really don't have a problem. I'll still divide half because in my mind, I already know that my friend loves champagne. Yeah. And when you're going out, I've already told her today, pocket, my pocket is. It's good. Yeah. So if I go out and I like wine, I'll get my bottle of wine. If she likes whiskey, I'll take the, she'll take the whiskey to all comes to whatever, I pay half half okay. because I know you're my friend. Yeah. Yeah. If people I don't know, then I won't be at the liberty to spend that much. True. And also, um, this is in Kenya, like for me it's here, but when I've traveled, I remember the first time I traveled to South Africa and we went for a meal with my friends and uh, my colleagues. Everyone calculated, like, the, sh what you the waitress was told, I ate steak, fries, spinach, 1,000 rand, sorry, not rand, that's a lot. Um, that's why we found a rand, because I ran maybe seven bob, yeah. and my wine was this, so they each paid whatever they eat. That is also fine. And actually that is how it's supposed to be. Mm. Unless you're just willing mm. to offer to split it in half. Mm. Because that will also control someone over spending what over spending or rather spending what they don't have. Mm. But yes. I feel like it's it is very malicious. Like if my close friends have no problem whatsoever. Like no but if someone that I don't know, I will be very careful. Please a glass of wine, yeah. two glasses of wine. If I've had a bottle of wine, the bill is mine. Sure. I wouldn't expect her, if I, she didn't know me, to pay for my bottle of wine. 
that's True. not fair or if you don't know if you didn't have that plan mm, no. initially mm. what do you think if we go out and um i take the menu mm -hmm. and i'm here saying oh wow the lobster looks really good mm -hmm. or maybe the salmon looks uh, really good compared to when i take the menu and i'm looking and i'm asking kathy what do you think the salad is 500 600 yeah. what mm -hmm. does that tell you as a person who is uh, read um take the cue to yeah, take the cue and also if for example i'm going out with my friend today maybe she's having a headache she's on antibiotics she's not having alcohol she's had water and a salad the bill comes to ten thousand. she spent 700 i i'm like it's okay today alice let me, pay. Let me pay. Like, read the mood. Don't yeah. be like there seated and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's good to be kind. And it's all boils down to being kind and being considerate. True. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just having the no more mannerism. Mm -hmm. and, and morals. That's morals. Morals. Yeah. 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 I feel like um, in a society we have this thing of, Akona pesa, si wacha ya tumi. Si wacha ya And it's a very wrong perception. Mm -hmm. Pesa mm -hmm. iko, but hiyo si matumizi ya hiyo pesa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is always good to do the right thing. Mm. And I think if it's a lady who's been taken out uh, for a date by a guy, and a guy has taken the menu first, or he's been given the menu and he is suggesting food of less value, please rhyme with that. Mm. If your date has ordered something for maybe a thousand or less, don't order something for 3000 mm -hmm. because that already tells you you can only afford something within that range mm. so just take the cue as Kathy has said mm. and flow with what is what your host is mm. is doing mm. yeah especially that is especially for lady man date you know table manners etiquette mm. we are doing for all gender mm. it's not for just females it's mm. for both female mm. and men so mm. Mm. yeah true. you're not going out with a man to finish his money exactly you know you're hoping to get another date <laughs> be humane so don't go with that mentality it's a man yeah <laughs> and maybe has taken you out for a date and he doesn't even have five thousand mm. to spend mm. so if mm. you order something that is way above his pocket mm -hmm. then you will be stuck there, mutachonga tu viazi. Mm -hmm. But that depends on how... <laughs> Nowadays, how... kuna fuliza, kuna tala, way. but I don't think it is wise to make someone stretch to a point of fuliza for just a dinner. Ata ungekua nyumbani, ungekula ugali na mboga, ungekua sawa. It's not, yeah, mm. by the mm. way, that's... that's... Mm. Fuliza is for emergencies. Mm. A date is not an emergency. True, it's not. <laughs> and maybe yeah. the person just wanted to sit and talk and just get to know you it was not much about how much they're spending and all that mm. because i know that people are cautious with that mm. kathy what do you think about people who yak maybe we are seated here on this table mm. we have our food if uh, someone has been served something i detest something i don't like what should be my public reaction what should be what should be my mm. reaction when i'm in a public place i think if they so if you don't have any medical allergies um, and no one is forcing you to eat the food for example i'm not big on seafood so let's yeah. say i'm seeing octopus on the table and someone has ordered the meal i may not like the smell i feel like it's not your meal so be composed don't be like yuck mm, what is that it's smelling badly you're holding your nose it's not right it's a public place and everyone is allowed to consume what they like True. so be accommodative and don't make faces or speak loudly yeah. yeah, you should respect other people's choices mm. and mm. unless something is making you puke, mm. then you have you can go to the rest mm. the restroom and mm. do that and mm. maybe change your sitting location and mm. all that, but then don't express that publicly. Mm. It is not good manners. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And um also when it comes to we're having a conversation, maybe we are having dinner mm. and uh Maybe I'm not on diet, you're on diet, mm. and I'm there chewing my bread, and mm. I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I've ordered fries and stuff like that. Mm. How, how should you handle that? Are you supposed to come, you know, like, why are you eating fries? Will you ever lose weight, you know? Mm. That's not nice. <laughs> it's, it's your own um, preference if you're on a diet, and you want to see what you say, I'm eating my fries, please. It's up to you. Don't 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 impose your own choices and your own exactly. issues and your own struggles on someone else. Exactly. If they are having fries, yeah, and you're on a diet, please eat what you're eating. And 
if it's your close friend, you'll be like, ah, I'm so tempted. Could you give me a bit to take through three? Yeah. And you'll explain to them, like, you know, I'm on a diet. But at least those three, four will make your urge go away. Yeah. But don't judge other people. True. Don't judge other people. Please, don't judge other people. And um, this thing of, you've reminded me, I eat very little at a time, yeah? Because I'm a surgery, so Paul will always be like, hey, hey, not a kulag. Hmm. You know, they just make me feel so good. I can't tell Maliza. You know, I already know that. So I'm very cautious. I try to eat as much as I can. But please stop um, forcing your opinions on people. Exactly. Mm. You've made your own choices. Everybody has different choices. Mm. And uh, most especially, it's a dining place. So you don't have to talk about your keto diet. I'm not saying keto diet is mm. bad. I'm not saying fasting it's is bad. bad. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> but when you question dining, Nakula, and Nakula take up on and be eh, and exactly. a fast eh, for three days. Eh? Exactly. You know, I just feel like a glad to be your money and you see. Now you could talk on any person. I know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dining setup, mm. so mm. we should at, at least not talk about the dieting and all that, what mm. we are going mm. through, especially our our whatever practice we are having. If you are having tea without sugar and I'm having God, the judgment, sugar, the judgment. Yes, the judgment part and also imposing your own preferences, preferences on someone on else. Someone yeah. else. Like, it's not good. Mm. I go please and they're like, you're having sugar, all that sugar, I'm like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't take honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, someone asked another question. If you're in a restaurant, you've bought their food, um, should you remove the wine that you bought from the supermarket? Um, okay. I think the, the answer is no. Mm. Initially, mm. they will not even allow you to come with a drink from mm. outside. I think Unless you've paid cockage. Exactly. And cockage is really higher than your drink. So that cockage is just to to um, discourage people to bring their own drink. And yeah. I think that is mostly for parties. parties yeah. If it's a wedding reception, mm, mm. It's, it's a function. That one, that's when they allow. Yeah. Yes, per mm. bottle or whatever mm. arrangement. Mm. But in normal situations, it's mm. unlikely that any restaurant will That's how they make their money. You. Yeah, but they're, they're in the business of selling that. So mm. if you bring it from outside, then mm. what, what are you? Mm. It's not right. It's not mm. even right. In the, and, and actually, having said that, there are people who carry stuff. You go to a hotel, and you go to people's homes, and you see, I don't want to mention this because mm -hmm. you're not organizing any hotel, yeah. mm -hmm. but you find someone with a, <laughs> that is outside the table manners, yeah. but it's a general manner. We were just <laughs> discussing the same thing. You go to people's houses, and they give you the, the towel, towel, slippers from the slippers, door, exactly. Kwapo, and a spy. <laughs> Serena, <laughs> like you are meant to use it and live in the hotel, my friend. You don't carry those things. Actually, souvenir. Or a Actually. glass. Every <laughs> ten. Or a Imagine, cup. please don't. I st I, I'm very, very strict on it. My kids will tell me. Will tell you, sorry. If they, if I find Ukona slippers a hotel, it's wrong. Because it's you see, bad you're, si you're, you're eating into their profits because yeah. they, are, they are there to be used and to be washed. Ukona slippers ya Serena, kona kikombe na shipai, kona kijiko ya Kepinski. Please. Ata kwa airlines, eh. they carry those things which are not supposed to be carried. <laughs> please, if you go on business class or first class, you're given your thing, please, baba yo peke. Kamu maembua pijama first class, urudishe, urudishe. Sina pora kwa nyumbako na pijama meandikuwa Emirates. Kata. Thank you, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good point. By the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it's outside. The, the dining yeah, etiquette. But, but it's general it's, etiquette. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. So I think that is something we should also observe. Mm, mm, mm. And also, um, lastly, I'm sure we have many who could settle tomorrow, but I'm thinking when you go to public establishment, the same as um, home, Please let's avoid uh, drinking more than we should because then it ends up with fights. Um, you don't need to fight with the person next to you. You don't need drama. You know, when you enter, you're polite and nice. As the night goes along, hey, that chick, I'll come in and let's do Now you drink, you get the. It's very. Imp can you imagine? It's very impolite and very. It's not classy. <sighs> and cool to start fighting in the restaurant, in the club. It, it's not necessary. We are adults. We don't need to fight. So if alcohol makes you aggressive and violent, please just take what you can handle. Yeah, just know your limit. Mm. Yeah. Bar fights and such stuff are not at our age. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. And mm. even when you have kids, mm. there are things you those are things you're supposed to teach them mm. to just know their limits. Even when it comes to food. Mm. Don't eat and then unakula kama mtoto tumbo imejam paka una space. Mm. <laughs> but mm. then there are people who feel mm. like that, you know. Mm. No, come on buffet, you want to <laughs> fill your plate, eat and you know, all plan yourself. It's a buffet. I usually just plan myself. I usually take one type of meat. 
I'm not going to the chicken and fish, and fish and, red and lamb meat. and red. If today I'm doing white meat, I can take chicken and maybe fish. Although may I focus on one. Yeah. And then pick a starch, pick a veg. Like chakula kimbi kuna kesho kuto. I know. Mm, yeah. Uh, so it's also not good manners mm. to be serving those full plates when you go for dinner mm, because mm. ati ni melipe elfu mbili yangu acha ni kule. Ni kule sude masu. Surely. How? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So just serve enough food. Don't be wasteful. Don't mm. waste food. Just serve enough enough mm. portion for mm. you. Mm. Yeah. What do you think about dining with kids in a restaurant? You have glasses like this. Maybe it's a toddler. Maybe mm. it's a two year old. So I have myself I have a range of kids. Um No, now the younger ones. Now the, oh, the younger, little little one. Yeah, like yeah. my son who's eight, he knows. So like this is his wine glass because he wants to be part of the group. He's put for ribena juice. But it's very clear that it's alcohol and he has for to be eight and above. Yeah. And also don't forget kids are watching, so don't misbehave and don't consume more than you can. Yeah, because mm. I think those are also some things we need to teach our kids, mm. especially when they're growing up. Mm. They need to know drinks for adults mm. and drinks for kids, mm. and they should know the respect that is mommy's drink. Mm. And you know, we need to teach them those boundaries yeah, because if have. we don't, then we are in a restaurant, and maybe a kid is crying to have your wine uh? or beer. Uh? And by the way. No nampe a la test. <laughs> Where, Panda? I, I, I feel like we need to have boundaries. Yeah. And I'm not saying that is going to stop your child from trying alcohol if they want to be 13, 14, 15. But I feel for me, my child will sit on a table to have an alcoholic drink with me 18 years and above. And the rest of the things I, I will not accommodate, you know. And even as I'm drinking, I need my kids need to know there's a limit. I can't be drinking here today and then tomorrow I can't wake up to go for a school meeting at it because I have a hangover. Teach them to drink responsibly. They're watching you and they're seeing you. That is true. Yeah. So it's good also to teach our kids yeah. these things. Yeah, and also the thing of um sorry for um putting wine in a tea mug, you know, the, the pretense. We need to stop. If you're having wine, let your kids know it's wine. Mom has one, two glasses of wine and that's enough. True. We need to stop pretending because we cannot protect our children from the world. These things are there. They're going to find them. It's up to you to treat them responsibly, how to drink responsibly and what works. So I, my, some of my kids don't drink because they've tried it and it's not for them. But and, and kids are smart. Yeah. When you put it in a mug, they still know you're lying. Mm -hmm. They're smart. Mm -hmm. They're not dumb. Yeah. They, they know. Mm -hmm. They know. Yeah, so I feel like being honest and like you said, teach them to do it responsibly. Good it's way. good. Mm. So it's fine to dine with your kids, mm. have a drink with mm. them, so long as they know what is happening. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And also, if you are dining with uh, toddlers, the young ones, three years, two years, please don't go with them in a public place, mm -mm. in a public restaurant, days when they're sick, when they're cranky, mm. and all that. Yeah, and I also feel, for example, um, let's say you've been invited for a birthday, yeah. and you come with your little two-year-old, okay? Then sometimes the restaurant when it gets to like seven, eight people are drinking, it becomes like sort of a mini people dance, it's like a yeah. club. I think kids should go home by six, six thirty. Um, if you yourself will not sacrifice to go home, the child, you have a nanny, someone at home who can receive them, shower them, dress them, be in bed on time. I don't see what kids two years old are doing Up in an ajama zone at midnight, na sweater, na lia. <laughs> it's not good manners. It's not good manners. I feel manners. like uh, six six cut off. They go home, change into their pajama, eat their food, sleep. Good. Mm, yeah. Mm. I think those are just some mm. of the etiquette we should observe. Mm. Yeah, especially when we are dining with kids, and we should know our limit. Mm, yeah, mm. even the time limit for the kids and all that, mm. and the extent we can go. Mm. Yes. Na yendi If today you don't have someone to help you take care of the kid, next time, excuse True. yourself. Mm. Yeah, there mm. is always next time. Mm. So let's uh, dine. Dining with Kathy today. Let's dine. <laughs> Can't wait. Today, at least she'll explain to you the food. Me, I didn't. <laughs> so we are having soup, yeah. and it's um, mushroom with uh, butternut. It's spicy, spicy, a bit of ginger, garlic, mm, mm, mm. and when you're taking a soup, please remember not to fill your soup spoon with your soup, and make sure you bring the spoon to your mouth, not bringing your mouth to the plate, mm. because that's why we have the napkin. You bring it to your mouth, then you, you, you take your soup. 
And if you fill your spoon too much, then that means uh, your chances of spilling the soup are high. Mm. So, Kathy, are you enjoying the soup? It's really nice. I'm already halfway, guys. Um, <laughs> I mentioned that I'm a very fast um, eater. I'm a, like Alice, so I'm going to try and get, take her pace, but I'm already halfway there. I eat very fast, but I'm pacing myself, like we mentioned last time. Remember to pace yourself. I'm also trying to keep up with her speed. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not fast. <laughs> Today yeah. I'm trying to be very fast. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's spicy and nice. It's a good soup for this cold weather. And, and dessert doesn't have to be soup. There's so many desserts. We can have beef carpaccio, raw food. We can have um, prawns. I think the next video might have um, someone come and show us how to pair wines with different foods. That can be a really nice video. Wow, actually very good. Yeah. Especially the meats yes. and the wines. Exactly. Wow, mm. that's a very good one. So let's hope we can do it soon. So when you're done with your soup, soup, don't um. Don't your plate, and also don't tilt your yeah, and also don't tilt your bowl like this to just make sure you've collected everything. It is it is not good manners. Yeah. Mm. Same as licking your fingers, you know. Um, yeah, once you finish it. Yeah, we talked about uh, finger food. So you finish your chicken and stuff. It's not good manners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it's time for you guys to let us enjoy our meal. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I leave, don't take your water or your drinks when you have food in your mouth to avoid um, leaving some particles in the water glass or your wine glass. And also when you someone talks to you and you have food in your mouth, the other day we mentioned please chew first, then communicate or talk. You can also notify them by doing this or it's a sign of give me a minute, chew your food, then talk. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope these are um, helpful tips that you'll be practicing while at home and while you go to the public places and please remember to go to fashionable stepmom youtube channel watch the other video we did on our dining table etiquette mm -hmm. and subscribe and then what do you say kathy closing remarks like and share also um ensure you subscribe to her channel it's very helpful when people subscribe because it encourages you to keep creating content that you enjoy and love it feels nice to be appreciated and like she mentioned earlier don't forget on her youtube channel she has a video where she showed people how to set up the table so you can she'll link it on this video somewhere um other than that guys hope you've enjoyed like i mentioned we'll be having many series um how to pair food how to pair wine with food and many different things i feel like her content relates to me as a mom as a wife um as someone of my age group so yeah i hope you enjoyed like the video and now it's time to eat and enjoy a glass of wine cheers guys bye cheers we shouldn't make the noise <laughs> By then she'll be polite, eh? Yeah. Oh, cheers. 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 Bye angels. Let me call you angels today. Bye angels. <laughs> Bye angels. Mwah.